Hi everyone, my name is Nina Zeta and I'm Director of Partnerships at Sidewalker Daily. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about Instagram feature accounts. So if you're not familiar really quick with Sidewalker Daily, we work on both sides of the travel influencer space. We consult for tourism boards, PR agencies, um, hotels, travel brands on influencer marketing. So we help them set up those campaigns, but we also have a community that we started on Instagram. Now that community is mostly travel bloggers and influencers, and we work with them to help them like build their businesses because we get so much info from the brand side, we start to feed it to our community. So we're actually, Sidewalker Daily started off as a feature account. Um, so this video means a lot to me. An Instagram feature account or a reshare account, what we are is we are not influencers. We are not bloggers. We reshare content in specific niches. So reshare accounts are um, accounts that aren't about themselves, but they're more like community focused. They're more about resharing other people's content, not content that they created on their own. What's interesting though, is that when we all kind of started back in the day, about three years ago, reshare accounts of all, um, reshare accounts or feature accounts or whatever you want to call them because they feature other people, they've all gone in different directions. So Beautiful Destinations, for example, they are on the content creation side of things now. Like they are this big force to be reckoned with socially, but they also work with their clients now, tourism boards, to create content to create really high level, professional, beautiful content, and they're killing it. Um, our company, we've gone a different way. We work with those brands, but we work on the same brands that maybe Beautiful Destinations work with, but we work with them on their influencer trips and on, on their influencer campaigns. We know the influencers. They're our friends, they're our family, they're our community. We know how they work. So we work with brands and we help them build out their campaigns. There's other reshare accounts that get paid to feature their account, other photos. So they're monetizing their business from like an ad perspective, like they're charging the end consumer to be featured on their account or a brand to be featured on their account. Everyone's kind of like finding their own little corner in this section. Reshare accounts, um, feature accounts, again, whatever you wanna call them, like Sidewalker Daily, are important because they are communities, at least for us, like we focus around a hashtag, which is Sidewalker Daily, which now has hundreds of thousands of people all over the world using that hashtag. Um, the a community element is really important and brands really like it because it's like, hey, we know how to grow a community. We can help you grow yours versus us being like a, an independent person, you know, and being like, hey, it's all about me. For us, it's always been about the community. And it's been kind of hard actually integrating our personal lives into it because people are like, okay, well, we want to be featured on your page or we want to be, you know, part of your community. So there is like, you know, some pros and cons, but overall, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons of being on a feature account. And I think it also shows that we understand social and we understand what the needs of our community are. Instagram feature accounts are also really important when you are building out your case study or a social media report for a client. So for example, let's just say you're a travel blogger and you get featured on a big account like Beautiful Destinations or Earth Picks. Your photo gets picked up and now gets like 300,000 likes on this one photo, whereas your own photo maybe got like 2,000. Um, that is awesome that this feature account has now pushed out your content because you can not claim it, but you can submit it in your report. You can show the brand in your recap, like, hey, look, my content was featured on all these different reshare accounts because it's that good. So many other brands wanted to reshare it. And those likes, like just to let you know on the brand side, like when we send over an influencer, let's just say on a trip, we don't just measure your likes, comments, engagements, impressions, all your backend analytics. We like to see what other content of other people are spreading our message. Like if I'm a hotel and you're, you came to my property, my client's a hotel and you took a photo there and now it's being shown on like 15 other reshare accounts, all those likes of all those reshare accounts, all those comments, now we can include in our report, both me as the client and you as the influencer. Um, and it's really useful for you to engage with reshare accounts to help boost your numbers because being featured on one can help also grow your audience. I hope you guys um, now have a better understanding of Instagram feature accounts or Instagram reshare accounts. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn all things influencer marketing on the travel vlogging side. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.